When the news came out last night that Piers Morgan had been axed from CNN after three years of plunging ratings, many publications like the Financial Times of London gave me at least partial credit for his undoing. I'm here to set the record straight. Piers Morgan destroyed himself. He had two million viewers a night when he took over from Larry King three years ago. CNN promoted him like it was the second coming of Obama or Christ, and it fell flat on its face. Anti-gun, anti-sovereignty, pro-police state. Piers Morgan across the board is the classic fascistic fake liberal with the condescending British accent the whole nine yards. And as news began to come out that he was at the head of a major hacking scandal in England, Time Warner and CNN have thrown the Brit overboard. Now, the folks over in England, they don't want him either. He's very unpopular. And this is a testament not just to the fall of Piers Morgan. It's a testament to the fact that dinosaur state-run media like MSNBC, CNN, The New York Times are not pertinent, they cannot set the agenda, and in fact, they're discredited. And they're losing stock every single day with the American people and the people of the world. At the same time, the new alternative media is becoming the dominant media and filling the vacuum left by establishment prostitutes. When Rand Paul won his senatorial race a few years ago that I supported against all odds, Politico contacted me knowing I'm friends with the senator and said, how did he win against all of the media attacks from the left and the right? And I said, it's because the system attacked him that he won. The only way you can beat Rand Paul is to endorse him. That's how discredited you are. And only now is the corporate whore media beginning to figure this out. Piers Morgan is a thug. Uh, he's a bully. He had some of his security staff threaten me when I was leaving CNN after I handed him his ass. Uh, Buzz Bissinger on his show talked about how he wanted to kill me and how Piers Morgan should kill me, and Piers agreed that he'd like to shoot me. Piers, challenge Alex Jones to a boxing match, show up with a semi-automatic that you got <laughs> legally, and pop him. I'd love to see that. <laughs> In uniform. <laughs> if I would have said something like this, I would have never heard the end of it. Piers Morgan is an establishment hatchet man, and he's simply a rat in the coal mine indicating that the entire political system is going down. Congress has a 6% approval rating. Mainstream media has between a 16 and 20 point approval rating in the trust area, and it's falling like a lead balloon. In closing, I want to say this. If CNN offered me a primetime TV show, I would only take it if I was absolutely not censored and had free speech. But that's not going to happen. They know that I would bring them massive ratings, as I did when I was on Piers Morgan's show. They know my radio show has at least 3 million listeners a day, bigger than any of their shows or four or five of their shows combined. They know that they're a paper tiger, a facade, the emperor's new clothes. And that's the last domino to fall, is that they are an empty husk. They are a hoax. They are a lie. And all their big studios and all their big systems are meant to project power and confidence and the truth is they've discredited themselves. Only the truth could set CNN and MSNBC and others free. It would bring them ratings and success. But MSNBC got rid of Dylan Radigan when he came out and said both parties are controlled and are destroying us for offshore banks. And so they didn't renew his contract, even though he had the highest ratings on that channel. Another example of how they don't want real populism. They don't want a return to a real free market. They want this crony capitalist system where a few insiders control the economy and manipulate the people through the media. The problem is the establishment mouthpieces aren't working anymore. No amount of ending net neutrality or web IDs or taxation or regulation or cybersecurity is going to put the genie of free speech back in the bottle. That train left the station a long time ago. So the truth is, if I got a job at CNN, I would be discredited. Look at how Duck Dynasty has 15 million viewers, or the Bible has 15 million viewers, and Piers Morgan had like 400,000. People are rejecting anything establishment and going for anything traditional or anything that's seen as Americana, and that's a good thing, and it shows that we're beginning to win the info war thanks to all of you out there.
So again, don't give me credit for helping to bring down Piers Morgan. We all did it together by standing up to him and by rejecting his message of tyranny. And in truth, he was arrogant about his support of evil. And that's why he was so easy to bring down. And he is a bellwether of the rest of the system that is collapsing in front of our eyes. <laughs> we, we are in an information war, and we are losing that war. I'm Alex Jones, signing off for InfoWars Nightly News. And remember, if you're watching this transmission and taking action with the information, you are the resistance. Hitler took the guns. Stalin took the guns. Mao took the guns. Fidel okay. Castro took the guns. Many... Hugo Chavez took the guns. Yeah. And I'm here to tell you, 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. Doesn't matter how many lemmings you get out there on the street begging for them to have their guns taken. We will not relinquish them. Do you understand? The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed Developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super male vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose for a limited time. We are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. Mm -hmm.